Our next guest was the star of uh, The Young Ones. Uh, remember The Young Ones, Paul? The Young Ones, yeah, yes. On, on MTV? Yeah. And he oh, is the young ones, the, the English uh, sitcom, yes. Very avant-garde and ahead of its time. Socially aware and yet hysterically funny at the same time. That's right. He, uh, he can now uh, be seen in a brand new film called Drop Dead Fred, and it opens on Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the program one of England's most popular comedians, Rick Mayall. Rick? <laughs> Fine, thank you. Welcome to the program. Welcome to New York City. Welcome to the United States. Although I'm guessing you you've been to this country many um, times before. I huh? came I came once before. Yeah, yeah, when I was doing the uh, <laughs> the comedy of errors. It was uh, in Shakespeare's play, which was about as funny as a fire in an orphanage. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Well, it's all these gags, you know, this kind of foldy roll, sire. You know, yes, a party foldy roll to you, and I've got to get laughs off American audiences yeah. with that kind of shh stuff, you know. You're not allowed to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, after fire in the orphanage, well, what possible, what possible difference could it make? Uh, um, now, now, now tell me, if you don't uh, mind, a second here about about uh, the, the the young ones. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Do you uh, know the young ones? Did you see the I, young ones? I think people yeah. Oh, how, how, long was, how long was it in production? Um, yeah, but it's, well, see, in England we don't make much. A series is only six programs. <laughs> and, we were, and we only made two series. It's only 12 altogether. Oh, is that right? There were only 12 of those shows? Yeah. Wow. That was working flat out for like three years. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're making the video tape by break. hand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, what but was... you're lucky. I've got to tell you, you're very lucky to see that at all. Yeah. The combination of... Um, the kind of malevolence of the little old ladies who work at the BBC mm -hmm. and, uh, and the kind of mayhem of the programme itself. There's, you'd, I'd write a line like, say, I'm going to the shops, Vivian. And Vivian would say, you can't. Perfectly innocent line. Right. And you'd type that out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's my agent. Uh, perfectly innocent line. And then you send it off to the little old ladies at the BBC and they, and they think we were such kind of blood-drenched sex vampires yeah. from the <laughs> bowels of Hades. And they'd have come back as, uh, I'm going to the shops, Vivian. You that other word that begins with a C, right? <laughs> right? No, and then we get hauled up to the top of the BBC. And they say, Mail, how dare you do that? And yeah. I say, I didn't write that. <laughs> say, well, which one of you wrote it? None of us wrote it. None of us. They just thought that it would just be disgusting. We're trying to be disgusting. They imagined the worst. The best case in point was when um, my girlfriend at the time, Lisa Mayer, wrote this great scene uh, where I find a tampon inside a handbag. It's my birthday party, and I think it's a present, because my, my character's Vic, who's such a git, he didn't know, right? <laughs> didn't know what it was. He goes, oh, you bought me a present. Oh, how nice. And he opened it up. Oh, it's a telescope. Yeah. <laughs> it's a telescope with a little mousey in it. Yeah. <laughs> and we put it in the red wine. It's just disgusting. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah, but we had we had the edge on that though. We had the edge because they they said um, they said no, you can't do that. And we said yes, we can because it was written by a feminist. Ha ha! <laughs> so they had to let it in. You see? Oh, mustn't be feminist. No, no, no. Hard to believe they only made a dozen, isn't it? <laughs> Stop it! You'll go blind. <laughs> Now, let's, let's talk about uh, Drop Dead Fred. This, uh, right. yeah, okay. Okay, well, which dirty bits do you want from now, that? Now, this is, this is you and, uh, and Phoebe Cates, right? Yeah. Yeah, a lovely woman. Yeah, I got to snog with her, which you didn't, did you? Well, maybe I did. Did you? <laughs> she is pregnant now. She is. Is she really? Not me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you, let's look at a little bit of this film. Tell them what oh, yeah. we're going to see here, Oh, this Rick. is great. Now, this, this bit here got us banned from the art gallery. They said, what kind of movie are you making? We said, we're making an art movie. Mm -hmm. It's in Minneapolis. Um, and they wouldn't let us in unless it was a really arty movie, which um, it's not really. But we told them it was. Mm -hmm. And they came down to see us filming this scene. Right. Okay. And after it finished, they said, right, you're banned. All right, is Phoebe in this? Uh, I think she is. Yes, yes, she is. All right, here Lucky we go. You. Uh, Drop Dead Fred, Rick Mayall, Phoebe. <laughs> there was a bit... Um... Mm -hmm. I got to look up Marsha Mason's dress as well. Wow. It's a hell of a job, but someone's got to do it. You betcha. Uh, this thing opens up on uh, on a Friday, eh? Yeah, closes all down around, Saturday. All, yeah, all right. around the country. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank Good you, luck Daddy. with the film. Rick Mayall, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Okay, well, we 
we've launched another one to the ionosphere. My thanks to Rick Mayall, Sean Colvin, John Miller, Jerry Seinfeld. That's it. Oh, okay. Uh, we get another good program tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Please try to get some sleep. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Thank you.